and I said he was quoting. Okay, I became an imam. And he interjected a word. He said, he said, he said, before the Quran. Yes, before the Quran was revealed, yeah. there was the Bible. That's true. And that is why the Quran, a part of the way he desc it described itself, a verse says, "Whoever is an enemy to Gabriel, mm. for he brings down the revelation mm -hmm. to thy heart by Allah's permission and guidance and glad tidings to those who believe." That means it's confirmation of what went before of other scriptures. The Quran is a confirmation of that. So when you read, every Muslim that listens to you now will say, this guy is speaking from the Quran because the Quran confirms revelations that came before it. Oh, okay. How? I'm sorry. As I, as I have just explained. The Quran confirms Bible. It also confirms Torah. No, the, the, the Quran confirms the Injil. And the, and the Torah. What is Injil? I'm sorry. Injil is, is, is the gospel. Is, is, is the it's gospel. gospel. The gospel. Yeah. The okay. Okay. Yeah. What is the Torah? The Torah is the Old Testament. Testament. But it remains one. Then that's what you want to, at least the common one. Uh, David too has his own. Okay. I think uh, uh, Psalms. 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 Yeah, yeah, I, I said Psalms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the Pentateuch. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the, the first part of the Bible and mm -hmm. the second part of the Bible. The, 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 that is the Torah to the, to mm -hmm. the Jews yes. and, and, and the, the New Testament. Okay. Now I think we are getting there. Mm. That's you said. Bible is inspired word of God, yes. and uh, Ustad also said Quran is inspired God of God. Word, uh, word of God. Yes. Well, God just saying it, and it becomes a whole book like that. Well, he brings and down the revelation to thy heart by Allah's permission. But that's okay. right. Mm, when you brought it to thy heart by Allah's permission, now how do we now have it? As a book now that you can go to a bookshop and buy your Quran and buy your Bible. How did it evolve to the level where we have it today? Okay, is it you or to be reverend? anybody? Okay. You know it's Cardinal okay. Mafia, I wouldn't mind. Reverend, please. <laughs> well, uh, for us as Christians, mm -hmm. God inspired men to write our scriptures. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've classified that one part of the scripture is called the Old Testament, which contains 39 books as was accepted as canonized and then the other part of scripture is 27 books but in the part that has 27 the first part of it is gospel which we have four different accounts of jesus life jesus ministries and what happened and then the acts of the apostle what happened when jesus died and then the followers or the apostle of jesus christ started writing to the various establishments the various churches the various followers that they had which becomes also an inspiration to guide Christians to know how church is run, why, how the church was run in the first century, and what we see today. So, and then there's Revelation, which came from John to show us the picture, the picture of that heaven we are thinking about, and what God promised will happen to us. But was it just like that? No. People write them, like the book of Luke was written by Dr. Luke. Mark wrote Mark, uh, Matthew wrote Matthew, and then John wrote John. So all these things have name, but they did not just write it, they were inspired. No wonder, in one of Paul's teaching, he spoke to the church in Berea and said, he described the church in Berea and said, the Bereans were people of noble character, because whenever you come to tell them about God, they do not just listen to you, but they go back home to check from scripture, to be sure if what you said is true. It's not just what you want them to hear. It is what is written from scripture. And throughout the times of the prophets, accounts were written of the work, the life, and the particular, the peculiar message that the prophets delivered to the people of their time. And so God inspired. You remember I used to tell people that this issue of books sometimes gets people confused. Mm -hmm. When Jesus went to one of the synagogues, on a Sunday or in a Sabbath, mm -hmm. what was given to him was not a book, it was a scroll. Because it was later moved from, okay, it was written orally. Deuteronomy chapter 6 from verse 1 says, when people were given the knowledge about scripture, they recite the scripture and then they teach their children. And so there was this transmission from them reciting it and teach their children. If you read that verse, I used to explain to people that those who come with charms, learn it from that place mm -hmm. because the passage says teach your children when you sit teach them when you are eating teach them when you are lying down the fact of all is that tied it on their neck like a charm but not the juju charm 
In other words, they have the symbol of what they are studying. Then when even they bend down to pick something, they will see it and remember, oh, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only because of oh, love thy neighbor than thyself. Oh, man shall not live by, by bread. Amen. We grew up with this kind of understanding of scripture, that scripture was what God inspired and then it was passed to people through Amen. teaching, as I said, through rebuking, through correction, through training, okay. and people become knowledgeable. But you see, as the world keeps evolving, mm. we cannot be holding Ten Commandments in stones. Mm. We cannot also be right, holding the entire accounts of the prophets mm. on, on papyrus, something. Mm. We need to bring them closer. Okay. And that is where the canon of the Bible mm -hmm. became key. And it was not just one single individual. It was the church okay. leaders who sat and look at scriptures as it is written within the given period. Okay. And say, oh, these are scriptures that agree because when you start from Genesis, there is a connect that Genesis 1, even when the devil tempted Eve and Eve fell, there was a statement of God Reverend, to her. And Reverend, then it I actually, connects I actually want the to gospel. touch Thank you. an aspect of the compilation of the okay. Bible there. Uh, and that's in, in 325 uh, uh, AD. That's right. What's the, 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 the importance of that date with the Catholic request and the first this year council? The importance of that uh, meeting yeah. with the Bible itself. Because and uh, the rejection of the apocryphal documents. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see, the canonical books of the Christian Bibles were enumerated and approved by various councils. Okay. One, the Synod, mm -hmm. the Pope of the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm beginning with the Council of Rome in 382 AD, as we've been trying to say. No, 325. Okay, no, 382. It was actually presided over by Pope Damascus I. Though in account, in, in writing okay. records, mm -hmm. you could have parity of date, mm -hmm. but you see, it is all within the three. Mm -hmm. So which one seems to have become the acceptable applied? Uh, but you see, the scripture was not inspired in 382. Neither was it inspired in 322. Mm -hmm. We are only talking about dates of canonization. Yes, so, yes. so instead of stressing ourselves to mind, no, I'm trying uh, to look at the yeah. historical, the evolution yeah. of these books. You, okay, let's, and let's, it was promulgated okay. to be scripture. Exactly. That's but, what and, and there's another addition. You see, the canonical Bibles of the Christian were uh, also they also had other books know, that were not received. No, you have given me and the what Protestants I'm call for. those books the apocrypha. Okay. Okay. But that's why you will find. There is a book, a Bible, that has the sixty-six book. There is a Bible Reverend. that contains the apocrypha. Okay, Thank okay. You. Let's quickly go to the the evolution of Quran. You said it's not only. I still have that one, I'm a, but we, you will not discuss it until when we go on a short break. Okay. And you will start us. You you will start telling us with that uh, evolution after this short break. Please don't go away.